Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video. And you might be wondering what Astrolock is doing with this bowl here and this another small thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of you will relate with this, but, but this is a very ancient practice in India. That's what we do uh, to connect with our ancestors and give them our offerings so this is the most basic and simplest version of it it can be as complicated as you want it to be but usually these days we don't have access to all the resources the way we live and we don't even have time so that's why if one can do the most simplest thing also uh, they can get some relief and why do you have to connect with your ancestors two things sometimes your ancestors have some kind of wishes which uh, they always wanted to get fulfilled while they were alive and that didn't happen and they constantly uh, keep seeking for connections with their offsprings in the uh, family uh, line and to fulfill their wishes through them and those may not be your personal wishes and you feel suffocated because uh, you have been forced by ancestors to take care of something and sometimes it also happens that sometimes your ancestors have done a mistake knowingly or unknowingly and they have not repented for it when they were alive then what happens is that that curse of do making that mistake keeps going to the next and next and next generation and they keep paying for it so you have to actually uh, keep offering with to the ancestors and all those deceased souls who were harmed by your ancestors so that they are pacified and they let you live peacefully another th thing uh, why you actually connect with your ancestors is there are some ancestors who in every lineage there would be someone who would have become very close to godly figure uh, with their worship, with their divinity, with their uh, supernatural skills, with their dedication towards humanity, they have evolved. So those are the ancestors who can also guide you how to remove all your problems in life and live your life blissfully. So these are the reasons why you would connect with your ancestors. Why I'm talking about ancestors right now? Because the, uh, every year there's a 15 days of window where you connect with the ancestors. And it is very important to um, uh, connect with them on day-to-day -day level during these 15 days. I wanted to post this video at the beginning of the 15 days, but I was going through so much of energy healing or disturbances and trying to cope up with energies on my own that I could not post this. But we still have time. We are in between the window period. And 6th of uh, October the is the last day of that period. So if not every day from now till 6th of October, just do it once on 6th of October. That will also benefit you. So... How, uh, what is done you offer in the most elaborate processes you offer a lot of things to your ancestors and pray to them for their blessings and their guidance and in most basic form you just offer water so i have collected water in a metal uh, cup it's a very small cup uh, if you have a silver cup that is or white metal cup that is perfect but if you don't have any metal cup use glass cup go and buy a glass uh, 
if you can buy a metal cup or glass uh, that is perfect if you cannot buy the metal one uh, then buy a very new uh, glass uh, and use that only for this purpose and keep it aside rest of the year and you can do the same ritual on every new moon if you want and use that glass again on that new moon and keep it aside don't use it for any other purpose so that is the whole thing so what do you do so these four fingers here in your palm here uh, denote the four suits of tarot or also denotes four different uh, levels of life which is artha kama moksha and uh, what's the fourth one dharma yeah dharma artha kama moksha so dharma being your righteous duty artha means your wishes ka kama means your wishes uh, and artha means your materialistic gain and moksha your liberation so these four uh, fingers denote that and uh, these can denote the four suits of tarot card also so that is one thing and then uh, this side of your palm uh, is denoted to connect with your gurus and all the gurus like ascendant masters we uh, these days have been reading through ascendant masters these were the uh, figures maybe in your lineage maybe in some other lineage they are not in your family lineage but they are connected to divinity so you connect try to connect with them to seek guidance so this side of your palm is used to do with that your thumb is your ego your thumb is your direct lineage who is trying to intervene in your life so you need to pacify them so we offer water to all these divinities uh, from different sides of our palm and try to connect with them and give them offer so that they are pacified they uh, are fed if you can offer some food you can do that but uh, that is something uh, i would not get into that elaborate process there is a technique to do that start with small things that's what i would say so you can just uh, give water to them in specific ways so that's what i'm going to teach here uh, when you are pouring water like this from your four fingers uh, then uh, you are offering waters to all the divinity all the gods and goddesses and uh, the saptarishis uh, the seven uh, i'll try to uh, put that image in between the uh, the constellation of Saptarishis. They uh, it's believed that these uh, uh, stars in this constellation, known as the Saptarishis, actually constantly pray to the divinity for the well-being of all cosmos and everything functions smoothly. So they take that responsibility. So you pay your homage to them like this. You pour. Uh, a spoon of water here and then just pour it like this why i put a cup here because this water does not ha uh, has to go in toilet or sink it has to go to a plant or to a ground where nobody would step on that till the water dries away so i have to be careful and you also have to be careful and usually it is done outside uh, near a water body if you don't have that uh, you might have a balcony in your apartment. Uh, do it there. Uh, do this offering there, and make sure that you don't step over that water till it completely dries. Uh, but if you don't have any other option, you can do it like this. The way I'm doing it, uh, put it on table and do it like this. Collect the water and then throw the water responsibly in a uh, plant pot where you have planted up uh, you have a plant in your house uh, just pour it there or pour it somewhere where nobody would step on it and don't drain it on in your toilet or kitchen sink don't do that so i think i have mentioned all the 
things that you have to take care of so it is very simple so i think it would be easier for me to stand and do this ritual uh, so this is my right hand and one more question that everyone asks can females do this because traditionally in recent uh, 4 500 years in india usually men would do this but uh if you go even back in the tradition and if you read various puran uh they would say that anyone can do that so there's no restriction so if you are a female please do feel free to do this so your thought should be or your intention should be that i'm offering this water to pacify all the gods and goddesses so you pour the water from your four fingers i'm um, now your uh, thought should be i'm offering all the uh, water to pacify the saptarishis who are taking care of our world now i'm pouring water from this side to uh, pay my homage to all ascendant masters and we do this twice ascendant masters we do this twice and then we pour water like this through our thumb to pay homage to all our ancestors and we do this three times and the process is done now what you can do is to hold your hands in namaste position and pray to all the energies to bless you and to guide you for future and have a blissful life so that's what you can do and the process is over i hope you will do this at least on 6th of october this year uh, and if not uh, if you are uh, this doesn't take very long time so uh, i would expect you to do it every day from today uh the perfect time would be uh morning when you wake up finish your all your duties and take a bath and immediately after you take a bath light a lamp and do this in your balcony or uh in your inside your house or if you can go to a river body if you have a river body next to you go and do there so thank you so much I hope you will do this and I hope you'll see a big change in your life after doing this. Thank you. And if you do that, please leave a message that you have done that. It it's very important for me and I'll uh, also uh, keep you posted about this every year during uh, what are the dates when you have to do this. Also you can do the same thing exactly in the same way uh, every new moon. It will help you. it will help you to clear your energies okay bye bye namaste